I believe Caesar could either win by TKO or submission, whichever way he wants to go about it. Depends if he wants to stay on the feet or if he wants to take it to the ground. I think he's capable of doing both. So it's kind of going to be up to him what he feels in there. Um, the guy's fighting has never fought before, so we don't know too much of what he's going to do. So it kind of just depends on what he feels inside there. But uh, he's been working hard. He's been improving a lot. So should be a good fight. And then for Phil, I think Phil is going to win by TKO in the second round on the ground. Um, I think Phil is going to break him with his pressure. Um, I think he's going to use his jab to get inside. I think he's going to use his jab to kind of control distance. I think the kid's going to swing. He's going to kind of unloads a lot. He's going to swing. I think Phil's going to time a nice takedown, get on top, kind of melt him a little bit in the first round. And I think in the second round, it's going to look a lot the same. But I think he's going to get him out of there. I think Phil's going to smoke this kid. He's not going to be able to hang with Phil. Caesar, I, Caesar will do good too. Finishes. He came here to finish. I'm excited to watch both these guys fight. You know, it's always weird, like, some a situation like Phil where someone drops out right before the fight and, and someone steps in. You never know how it's going to go, but Phil had such a good camp, so we're confident in, in anything that happens. And then for Caesar, man, he's been waiting for this since the last fight. He's been trying to come back in and, and get something done, so we're excited, man. We're, it's been a good trip so far. It's been a fun trip, and uh, it's going to be a good night. Caesar and Phil are ready to rock. So Caesar just got his hands wrapped. He's about to get marked off. Uh, he's second fight, so won't be long before he starts warming up. And then uh, Phil's main event. But they're both ready, and we're ready. So looking forward to it. I'm doing them all. Kitchen. That's where, that's where we. That's where we cook it. It's good. Uh, so we'll get you in the kitchen. Just start moving around. Don't touch any of the pots or pans. Oh yeah. We're getting ready. We're getting ready.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cesar Bohar! And fighting from the red corner, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, and representing Cedar Rapids Boxing Club, and fighting from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, this is Garrett! Seconds. How much time did you spend to train and able to knock some dude out in 16 seconds? We got to talk about what just happened. I mean, ever since I started training at Intercept, I was just there to like, you know, have a have a good workout. You know what I mean? Have good cardio, and then eventually they asked me to join their fight team, and I did. So there's really no like answer that I've always been training just to flush it up. But I'm sorry that this is a family promotion, but like, thank you guys so much, Iowa, for having me. This is a lot of hard work on display. This is only 16 first seconds for y'all, but there's so much time for me. This interview's lasted three times longer than your fight did. If we can, let's try to see if we can get this queued up, our interview, or excuse me, our replay, and see if we you can walk us through this fight. See what you see. I just uh, started throwing some uh, feints and fakes, and then as soon as I uh, got into the distance there, I started landing my jab, and then the rest is history. Uh, thank you so much, Gary. I've been exactly where you've been before, and I already let you know, but please don't give up on it. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that? 16 seconds, your winner by knockout, Cesar Behar. You, you were doing there, you did the same shit. Same shit in the gym, dude. Fuck yeah, Cesar, Perfect. Let's fucking go. Perfect. Fuck yeah. Let it out, let it out, hell yeah, let that shit out, fuck yeah. Hell yeah, let that shit out. Fuck yeah. That shit is inspiring, bro. Hell I still yeah. gotta fight tonight. I don't know how I'm gonna fuck. fucking top that. I gave blood to to be able to come over here. I picked up extra shifts. I was uh, I did all this. I gotta come down. It's only an amateur fight. This is the beginning. Don't, don't fucking matter. Let that shit out, bro. Let that shit out. It's the beginning. Hey, don't downplay it. Fighters fight, bro. Fighters fucking fight. You can downplay it all you want next week when you, when you go back to the gym. Right now, fucking enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy that shit right now. now. Enjoy that shit right now. Go talk to your family. You cut, hug, how much hug your girlfriend. Hug yourself. your mom. Fuck that shit. What the fuck you gotta do? You did that shit, bro. Well, Caesar went in there and did everything that he did in the back, warming up. Uh, finished the guy in 16 seconds. I mean, what more could you ask? He literally listened to everything we told him and just went out there and just did the exact same thing. And he got his hand raised. But, you know, 16 seconds, like he was saying in the cage, people don't understand just the work that goes into it. Like, the stuff that Caesar had to go through. His last fight, he got finished in the first round. And you can see that pain that he just carried with him. He got a little bit out of shape. He was out of the gym for a while. And then finally he made that decision that I'm gonna take another run at this. And hard work pays off, man. I mean, Caesar is a warrior. He never complains, always puts the work in. Um, we're, we're, just, we're just super proud of him. So next fight, I don't know how he's gonna top that, but we'll see. A fucking no knockout. Fucking, I never got a 16 uh, seconds knockout. He's a fucking dog. Oh uh, yeah, I called it. Yeah. Christ. Uh, Caesar just put the bangs on this kid, bro. But right before we told him in the back, like, you go out there and hurt this kid because this kid's coming out here just for the experience to have some fun. And Caesar put it on that kid, dude. First one-two that he hit him with, 
Danny and I looked at each other, and then two seconds later, a kid was in a, on the ground in a heap. So you don't play MMA, man. Caesar put it on there, worked his ass off all camp, and that's what happens when you put the pen to paper. It's good shit. I felt healthy this time, healthier than last time, because I wasn't adamant about hydrating. So this time, I had like a whole protocol, a PDF, all laid out with like the meals I'd be eating and the amount of like carbs and protein I should be having like right after and it helped it made the difference this time like this time I just felt healthier I felt stronger I felt like unstoppable bro I mean y'all saw it man so catch, catch the lady at 5 feet 10 inches tall weighing in at 145 pounds and representing the Clay Club getting Phil warmed up now. He's about four fights, five fights away. Um, Phil likes a little bit longer of a warm up, get the body ready. Uh, so yeah, we'll have him do some shadow boxing, we'll have him do some rounds on the pads, and then uh, we'll have George do a couple rounds of timing. So he's ready to rock when he gets out there. And yeah, right now it's all about just getting out there and doing what he does, you know? And, and he's the best at what he does, so let's make it happen.
inside position. Billy's got no urgency. Yep. He'll sit here all day. Let's let him. Punch him. Go. He's not even kicking you off. Hammer fist. Hammer fist. Hammer fist. Pull his butt out. talk us through uh, exactly what you see here. A lot of work on the ground, of course. Yeah, he was, uh, you know, it was a short notice replacement. We're getting ready for a wrestler, and he, he's more of a striker. So I just had to take my time, wear him out. He was throwing up really good submissions on the bottom, so I just had to hold position and put my weight on him and wait for him to retire out, and I was able to do it. Well, great job. And I know that you've got a lot of folks who, of course, came to see you here tonight, people in your corner that you want to thank. Yeah, I got to thank Andy Summers, Don Bogia, Taylor Jones. These guys, again, they believe me, but I don't believe me. But I think when nutritionist cat, she, she got me in the best shape of my life. And just everybody understand, man. When I'm down, they pick me up and they make me a better person. I'm glad I was able to come out here and get this one for them. This is for everybody back home that believed in me and put all this work in me for a year so I can come back and do this. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner of our main event of the evening, Fighting Phil Quinlan. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I don't want to hurt y'all. Oh my god, congratulations. You're my fucking dog. Awesome. I got you. I'm I'm tired. Tired. I got you. Yes, sir. Let me get a pick with it. That's a nice belt as well. Hey guys, nice. This shit's like the WWE Show. Yeah, this is Phil Quinlan became the triple champ, uh, went out there and, I mean, you know, we took the fight on 24 hours notice. We go from fighting a, a very strong wrestler to a guy that's more of a striker with striking fights too. Um, but, you know, Phil went out there and did what he needed to do. He closed the distance like he needed to do and even though he didn't get the takedown right away, 
Phil is persistent. And on, on top of that, he's got an amazing gas tank. He, he kills it in the gym. And you just show just how dominant he is. You know, when he gets on top of these guys, he gets to hold these guys. It's something they've never felt before, and you can see it in their eyes. So, um, But Phil is second round TKO. We got Caesar with the first round TKO. It was a good night. Witness Phil beating the shit out of somebody. A couple great takedowns, some good exchanges on the feet, and then uh, put it on him on the ground. It's great stuff. Man, Intercept's been killing it two weeks in a row. I beat someone up in Iowa. Caesar beat someone up in Iowa. Phil beat someone up in Iowa. Let's go. I said finishes. I don't think I'm ever wrong. I was asking I was wrong. Man, I feel good, man. My eyes hurting a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm back. I got a second round TKO. More needs to be said. I went out there and I put, a, put on a show in the main event. So, you know, that's what we do, man. That's what champs do. Like, guys pull out on 24 hours notice and we got to roll in and save the card. So, you know, you gotta go over there. Gotta go. it is what it is. How you doing? Keep up. What a show. A fantastic show. A great show. Everyone from Chicago. Ex excuse me. Shut up. I'm not done talking. Chicago, what a what a city. Great fighters uh, killed the Iowans. A great show, Phil Quinlan. What a fighter. What a guy. Cesar Behar, he's great too. Uh, that's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs>